Our immune system is necessary for protection from the pathogens that cover everything around us. HIV, or the human immunodeficiency virus, is a retrovirus that infects the important helper T cells of the immune system. Helper T cells help activate B cells, which secrete antibodies that mark pathogens, and cytotoxic T cells, which destroy labeled infected cells. Entry of the virus into the cell is made possible by receptors on the surface of T cells, which interact with glycoprotein complexes embedded in the viral envelope. The viral envelope fuses with the cell membrane, and the virus deposits its genetic material and replication enzymes into the host cell. The genetic material of the HIV retrovirus is RNA, so it must be converted to double-stranded complementary DNA by reverse transcriptase in order to be integrated into the host cell's DNA by the enzyme integrase. Integrase cleaves a dinucleotide from each of the three prime ends of the DNA, allowing for the viral DNA to be incorporated with the helper T cells DNA. This DNA is then transcribed and translated in order to make building blocks for the new virus with the helper T cells' own metabolic machinery. After all, the goal of the virus is to make the target cell make more of the virus. The virus leaves the cell, matures, and infects other cells to the point where there are not enough helper T cells to maintain a healthy immune system. A lack of helper T cells weakens immune function and makes patients more susceptible to getting violently ill from normally harmless pathogens. To combat the virus's fatal activity, highly active antiretroviral therapy, or HART, is used and includes a combination of drugs that seek to inhibit HIV replication. A positive diagnosis for HIV is not a death sentence because of the great progress in treatment options, but the virus can have fatal effects if left 